This video will guide you through the features of My Computer in CA Internet Security Suite. The My Computer component works to protect your computer from malware, which includes the antivirus and anti-spyware programs. To open the CA Security Center from the Start menu, select All Programs, CA, CA Internet Security Suite, and CA Security Center. Double-click on the CA icon on the bottom right, or right-click the CA icon on the bottom right and select Home. If the card is shown in red, click on Fix Now or View Alerts. Fix Now. Click on the Fix Now button again. After the fix is complete, click the Close button. Click on Fix Now. You can also click on View Alerts. Click on the Fix Now button again to perform the necessary tasks. The update time depends on your internet connection speed. The full system scan can take hours depending on how many files are on the computer. After it's complete, click on Close. The My Computer card should now be blue. Double click on My Computer header. Click on the Full Report button. You can now see the threat report. Now click on Close. Click on the View Settings button to update the settings of My Computer. Click on Cancel for now as we're going deeper on this later. Click on Last Scan Result. This will show the last scan result. Click on Close. Under the My Computer Tasks, click on the drop-down arrow and select the different types of scans. Quick Scan searches only locations that are common hiding places for lo infections. Common hiding places include boot sectors, hard drives, and removable media like zip drives, floppy drives, and CD-DVD drives. Quick Scan is faster than a full scan because of the limited number of locations scanned. It is recommended to run a quick scan when you want to quickly confirm if an infection has just landed in your computer. Full scans search all other areas of your computer, including boot sectors, hard drives, and removable media for infections. Full scans take longer than quick scans because of the large number of locations scanned. It is recommended that you do a full scan at least once every week. Custom scan enables you to select specific files and or folders to scan for malware. Custom scan takes a longer time than a quick scan, but lesser time than a full scan. You can also review the quarantine items by clicking on View Quarantine option. For example, we're going to scan the D drive only. Highlight D drive and then click OK. Click Scan to start the scan. You can also display Keep My Computer Safe window by clicking on the second item on the bottom that looks like a computer monitor. We can go to the Report window by selecting View Full Report on My Computer Card in the CA Home screen. This will take you to the following, Keep My Computer Safe, which has three options, Report, Settings, and History. Under Reports, you can find the statistics of the number of threats detected, the type of threats detected, and tips on how to use the CA Anti-Malware section of CA Internet Security Suite. Under the Settings tab, we have Threat Settings options. We have the following settings under the Threat Settings. Threat Protection, Scan Options, Scan Content, Schedule Scans. Under Threat Protection, you can turn on or off Auto Scan or Email Scan options. A green tick means the option is enabled on, while the red cross means the feature is disabled off. Auto Scan will monitor malware in the background. An email Scan will monitor emails from malware. Under Scan Options, you can change settings on how CA Anti-Malware should react when threats are detected. These are the default settings, but you can change it according to your needs. If you click on Enable Network File Scanning, CA will also scan external devices as well. As a default, CA will automatically clean threats when possible and put them in the Quarantine Items folder. You can choose to clean the threats manually, or you can ask CA to delete the threat without quarantining it by de deselecting Quarantine Threats for later review. Scan Content you can change settings to exclude specific files or folders in auto-scan or on-demand scan. This is also, also useful to exclude the false positive file. Such legitimate files that had been detected as malware. Click Browse. Browse to the location of the file or folder. For example, we are going to exclude CAP4 Projects folder. Select the File folder and click OK. Now you should see the selected file folder on the list. To exclude it, Click on Auto Scan and On Demand Scan. 
To just exclude it from the auto scan, unclick on demand scan so that you, when you do a full scan, the file folder will still be scanned. You can schedule a quick scan or a full scan. To determine the start date and time, click on the calendar icon to bring up the calendar window. Select the date. Determine the start time to scan. You can also ask CA to repeat the scheduled scan every month, week, or other. You can also choose the hours to repeat the scan. As a scan will consume your CP usage, as a default, the option to run scans when the computer is idle is selected. You can unclick it if you feel that your computer is powerful enough to do multiple tasks. To save these changes, click on the Apply button. If you have a Windows user account control enabled, please agree to allow changes you have made on CA Security. Click on Update Settings under the My Computer card. Under Settings, click Program Access. Program Access Control monitors programs to prevent them from spawning potentially malicious software. You can configure advanced registry protection options to prevent programs from altering the following. Internet Explorer search page to prevent programs from alternating your Internet Explorer's default search page. Internet Explorer home page to prevent programs from alternating your Internet Explorer default home page. Windows host files to prevent unwanted web pages direct redirection due to unauthorized changes to your Windows host file. Windows startup programs to prevent, protect your list of applications scheduled to run at Windows startup. Critical Windows Registry Keys to prevent, prevent potential system failure due to unauthorized changes to your critical Windows Registry files. Keep these settings safe to protect your computer from system damage, unwanted changes, security breaches, data loss, and malware. To enable program protection, click on the green tick. This will prevent programs from spawning other programs when executed. As a default, this feature is disabled to allow a browser to bring up extended programs. Click on the green tick to enable code injection protection. As a default, this option is disabled to allow full access. Please keep the settings as default unless you have advanced knowledge. To increase or decrease the access that malware and other threats have to a specific program or security levels for a program's access to Windows components. Click on a list to find whether the program is listed there or not. Click on Browse if you cannot find the program on the list. Locate and select the program you want to configure. Navigate to that program's location. Here we are using the Internet Explorer program as an example. Select the executable file.exe of that program and click on OK. It will be shown in the Specify a Program text box. Click on Add button to add the target program to be monitored. Once you click on Add, it will be shown in the list above the Browse button. The path may not be seen clearly unless you move the mouse over that line. To allow the access, choose Allow for Inbound Access, and also for the Outgoing Outbound Access. Click the Edit link across the same line. Under Program Security, check the boxes for the options as required. Scroll down. Under Program Groups, check the boxes for Trusted and Safe Apps. If the program acts as an installer as well, you can click Install Group option, then click on Apply. Repeat the steps if you have other executables.exe files in this program's folder that needs to be added. Move on to Program Rules feature. You can create program rules for CA to monitor a program and hence allow or deny network access to such programs. Consider this sample scenario. You would like to give full internet access to a program you are using with the firewall enabled on your computer. Type a name for the program rule and click Start. Type a description for the rule in the first box. Under Assign this rule to a program or group, leave the setting as All Programs. Program or Group. In the second entry box, you can choose to do the following. Select Trusted if you want minimal internet access. Select Blacklist if you want to block this program's internet access. Select Safe Apps if you want unrestricted internet access. And select Installer if your program is an installation file and needs temporary internet access. Click on Add if you just want to add specific programs to the rule, not to all programs. Navigate to locate the program specified. 
click on OK. Under Specify Account Type, leave the setting as System and User Accounts for this example. Click on Next. If you want that CD-ROM files, fixed drives, etc., it can be directly selected here as a single object to be monitored by the firewall. Select CD-ROM files to set the object. But for Add the Specific Program, we're going to create a new object. For Object Name, type a name. For Object Description, type Short Details. And for Object Type, select a file or folder. Click the Add button. Browse and select the program's .exe file you would like the firewall to monitor and allow Internet access. Again, we use Internet Explorer as the example. Click OK after the file is selected. Click the Next button. For Read, Create, Write and Delete, drop down and select Allow. You can also click Send Me Alert if you want CA to give alerts when the program is accessed. Click the Next button. Select Run Always to enable this rule during all days at all times. Or you can specify the day and times for the rule. Click on the Finish button. Click Close. You should see the program rule you just created. Your rule is now active and monitoring the program you wanted to give full access for. Click Close. Click on the History tab. The History tab contains the logs related to Autoscan and On-Demand Scan, and also the Program Access Monitoring History. You can also access the History tab from the main window, and click on View Full Report Link. On-Demand Scan's history consists of logs of initiated scan. You can click on View Details. The View Details link is not enabled if zero threats are detected. See the scan results there. Click on View Quarantine. Select the item you want to exclude, restore, or delete. You can click on Select All to deselect all the items on the quarantine item list. Click on Delete if you want to remove the quarantine items. In case of false po positive issues, you can select the legitimate file that has been scanned as threat by CA and exclude it for the time being until CA removed the file from the detection. Then click Close. Click on Auto Scan. CA performs auto scans in the background, so if there is malware coming to the computer, CA Scanner will pick it up and quarantine it. Click on Program Access. Currently, there are no programs monitored by CA, but if after CA is installed, then you cannot access the program, you can check on the history. For example, you're trying to load www.google.com. Your internet connection works fine, but the browser is unable to load the website. Open CA Security Center. Go to the My Computer History on Program Access tab, and you can see that Internet Explorer was blocked. To allow the access, we need to change the settings. Go to Settings, then Program Access. Scroll down on the program list, and allow Internet Explorer. Then click on Close. Now try loading the web page again. To snooze the antivirus, right click on CI icon on the taskbar. If it is hidden, click on Show Hidden Icons or just click on the arrow. Click on My Computer. Click Enable Snooze. Agree to the message on User Account Control if it's enabled. Type in how long you want to snooze CA antivirus for and click on the Snooze button. Windows will alert you that CA Antivirus is turned off as you have snoozed the scanner. If you need to enable CA Antivirus again before the time ends, find the CA icon on the taskbar. Right-click on the CA icon, again choose My Computer, then Enable Snooze. Click on Wake Now to enable the CA scanner. 